What's up YouTube, Connor here back with a brand new video. So today we're gonna go to Goodwill, hopefully find like five to 10 items, spend like 20 to 30 bucks. And then I'm gonna list those items, take a little break, eat some breakfast, do another 10 to 15 items because I have tons of items that I don't have listed. These are not listed. There's like a pile right here. There's a huge stack right here. And then there's tons of other stuff scattered around. And then I have hundreds of teas over here as well. And these are all not posted on eBay. So these have to get posted within the next couple months because I need to make room. There is tons of room in this house to fill it with tons of stuff, but I have to be able to keep on moving the stuff to make money and buy more stuff. So I'm gonna go to Goodwill, buy like five to 10 items. Hopefully I can find it because Goodwill has been super dry lately. I think it's 9.30 right now and Culver's opens up at 10. And I don't know if I'm down for a burger for breakfast. So maybe I'll just go to Wawa, which is right across the street, grab a frappe or like, a, they have this Chips Ahoy frappuccino that's really good. So I highly suggest it if you guys have a Wawa in your area. I'm really hoping we could push for 50 listings, but I'm gonna show you guys some tactics and strategies and tips on how I list because I'll list like 10 t-shirts, take a little break, maybe like a 20 minute break, watch some YouTube, watch some TikTok, then do another 10 and then do another five and then take a nap and then do that again later on in the day. Because if you could do 10 listings in 30 to 40 minutes, that's easy. Like you could get a lot done, especially if you're doing like pins, hats, video games, you could do double that and easily do double that. All right, guys, we made it. So, locking up the electric booty. Hopefully, we can find some good stuff at the store. I do have a challenge in mind for my second eBay store, which I never use, but my main eBay store is Retro Hungry, and the second one is called Broward Bulk. But I'm thinking that we should use the second one for a challenge where I like go to like a Dollar Tree and you pick up dollar items and you find the ones that go for like 10, 15 bucks because there are dollar items that you could find at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and you could sell them for profit. Like there's money to be made from dollar items. So you pick them up for a dollar plus a seven cents for tax and you make profit. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm not a big rug shopper, but these are not that bad. Uh, six feet by five feet for $26. I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but I don't know. Might need help picking out a color. That one actually looks like it's Oh, maybe that's the design. I would want something basic though, if I was gonna get a rug. But uh, I wouldn't go for something crazy like that. I would go for like a plain gray or like a plain black, which I don't see any black ones. But uh, let's get to shopping. Never know what we're gonna find here. The music's not too loud right now, so I figured I'd give you guys a little rundown on how my Goodwill is set up. Oh, never mind, music is popping. I actually almost passed up the shoe section over here. I think I saw a pair of TNs, which I have. And let's see how beat up they are. Ah, eh, not that bad. Eh, size 10. Oh, wow, look at the front, though. That's rough. I think I'm just gonna let someone else grab them just because there's so many flaws. They're only 10 bucks, which there is potential to make money. And they are the removable swoosh shoes because they're supposed to have like a swoosh that you get attached to it. But I'm gonna pass. I mean, $10, maybe flip them for a quick 35, 40 bucks, but I'm gonna let them sit over there. Maybe someone will buy them for the personal, you never know. All right, so she doesn't seem very popular, but this Etana reggae music, this is a medium and there's tons of them. So I'm gonna grab a couple. I don't think they'll move too quickly, but there's another one right here. This is like a 2014 tour. I like the colors on that one though. Yeah, they're 99 cents each. I hate when they write that right there though. It's kind of annoying. Pretty much a quick little update. We picked up a bunch of them because they're all different sizes. They're all different colors. And I'm gonna be the only one on eBay with these shirts because there's none on eBay, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm just gonna post them for like 30 bucks each and then put like list this one time and then put quantity like five. So I have five of these, same size, same color. The only thing that sucks is they wrote on it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect example of why I'm not a millionaire yet. Millionaire yet is because I fell asleep, I played some games of League, and I didn't do any listings yet, but it's 4.30. I got to edit this video at about six o'clock so I could get it up at nine o'clock for you guys. But I do have some offer up meetups coming up in a little bit. I'm selling this bag full of, let's see down here. Super Famicom games, and these are worthless. I mean, they're not worthless, but 
they're very hard to sell. Even if, if I put them on eBay, they sat forever. Like I had them on eBay. I put a hundred of them for $200 like shipped, like dude, free shipping. It would have cost me like 40 bucks to ship these uh, medium mail, but I was like, screw it. I had a hundred dollar on offer up or a hundred dollar offer on offer up. So I was like, let me take that meeting cash only. And then I have a bunch of fishing lures and this, which I paid $4 for this whole box at Goodwill. I'm selling it for $30. So those are two meetups that I have to do. But after that, I'm gonna list, list the things that we got today at Goodwill. And then I'm gonna edit this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of short, but not every video is gonna be long, but we'll see. Maybe, I'll, maybe something will happen. Maybe I get robbed when I'm doing my offer up meeting. I'm just kidding. I don't wanna jinx it, I've never been robbed. I've been like lowballed and the guy like kind of like robbed me a little bit. Like I met up for a pair of Jordans one time and I was selling them for like 150 and he's like, yo, these are fucked up. And he handed me a hundred and he's like, I'm leaving. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do this over 50 bucks. Like this guy kind of robbed me, but I was just like, whatever. Like it's whatever. I bought them for like $20 at the flea market. I sold them for a hundred bucks. So I kind of got robbed. That was like the only scenario where I got robbed. He kind of like could have robbed me, but like he gave me a hundred bucks. But I was like, okay, whatever. So right now I'm just organizing the ones that I picked up. The Itana Better Tomorrow tour shirts. The only bad thing is they have a dot 99, so 99 cents on them. This one's a large. I have medium, large, and extra large. Got another large right there. Got another large right there. We have an extra large right there. And then I have a couple of these like tan ones and then I have a couple white ones. But I'm the only person on eBay with them. So I'll probably just throw them up for like 25, 30 bucks. I only paid 99 cents each. And a lot of people always ask me, what do you do about the marker? Just keep the marker. You're not gonna be able to do anything. You could put like maybe black marker over that, but I don't know if it'll completely cover it up. Or you could try just putting another silver marker over it and just making it one blob. But usually in the description, I either put nothing or I put, oh, there's some marker on the collar, just so you know. But like, what are they going to do anyways? Like, they can't really wash it off, I don't think. So I'm going to cut this little tag because that's Goodwill's tag, this little blue one. And uh, that just marks like what color of the week they're on. I just have to sell one t-shirt in order to make the money back on all of the t-shirts. So I picked up 13 of them for a dollar a piece and sell them for 25 each. Easy money, big profit. Just wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Shout out to Mendoska, Chino the Goat, and Jessica for commenting on yesterday's video. Today, giving three more shout outs. So make sure you guys leave a comment down below if you guys made it to the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys are new here, which Honestly, there's not gonna be that many new people here, but if you guys are joining me on this journey, we find stuff all the time. I'm not saying we find the best stuff, we find the craziest stuff, but I am consistent, and I am definitely gonna be posting these videos every day, so I hope you guys enjoy them. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.